Folks, there is some momentum building uh, behind the legalizing pot issue. And I, and part of the momentum is that basically almost everyone smokes pot. That attitudes about pot have been changing in terms of legalization. And also now that the economy's in the crapper and Mexican drug cartels are in every city killing people, all of a sudden there's a few other reasons why it seems like a good idea to legalize pot. Now, I personally don't smoke pot anymore. I used to be a daily pot smoker. I don't really have anything against pot. Apparently, though, some of the, uh, in, in, like, in, in state governments in at least three states are, are trying to, uh, they're considering joining the 13 states that have legalized pot for medical purposes, which I, I think that should have been done years ago. Pot should just be legal. It brings a lot of relief to glaucoma and people who are in uh, um, chemotherapy. Uh, it also is prescribed for depression, which I think is a 50-50 thing. Because uh, I think that you could smoke pot for your depression, but then end up needing medication for panic, depending on you know how you're built. But also, I, I guess my only concern about about legalizing pot is is the motivational element. Everyone handles pot differently. Uh, I've known people where uh, they they get very focused. Mark, Mark, Marcus. Marcus works here. I'm not sure what Marcus does. What do you do here? I'm not. I'm not sure either, actually. Uh, I screen you, calls sometimes on the radio. On the radio. What do you got to say? You can. Did you just sit down to, to to what to talk about pot? Legalize it. Yeah. And I'm against this whole medical marijuana thing. What do you mean you're against medical marijuana? I mean anyone who wants to legalize for medical purposes wants to legalize for video game purposes. Let's okay. be honest. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So what are you doing to uh, to to fight the fight for the legalization process? Um, well, I smoke it sometimes. So is, is that enough? Do you, uh, do you ever get together with people and say, we've got to motivate? Yeah, yeah. We, I actually did that last night. Oh, yeah? And how'd that go? Well, we uh, sat around in my living room yeah. and talked about it a lot. Yeah. And, uh, did you get anything two, done? Well, two guys fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. So I just put in Total Recall DVD and... Uh, yeah, and the rest of you just watched that. Well, I fell asleep eventually, too, around about, <laughs> around about one of the Quato scenes. Yeah. Who was yeah. the last man standing? Did he do anything to further the case? I think he uh, went on normal.org. Normal. <laughs> yeah, National Organization for Foreign Marijuana was. Right, but it turns out that that's actually N-O-R-M. L. Oh, so he just gave up after. Uh, without the, without the uh, he put the O in. He's a, he's good with grammar. N O R. So he went he went with N O R. Or sorry. A. A. Yeah, that's all right. No, pot does that. Yeah. So he he, he put the A in, <laughs> and then when uh, he really that he saw that that was wrong, he just kind of gave up. Yeah, he blew and, it and off. took another. Hop. All right. Yeah. Well, let me Maybe. ask you, let me ask you an honest question because I've been out of the uh, the pot smoking racket for about ten years. Like, when I was smoking pot, they didn't even have delivery yet. They have that now. <laughs> now, my, my question is this, is that you have friends now who are uh, obviously daily pot smokers. And I've, I've got no problem with pot, but I think on an individual basis, if you're making a decision to, to be a daily pot smoker, you run the risk of, of detaching a bit from reality and having most of your dreams remain in your head. Well. Oh. It depends on, like, if your dreams are going to drum circles and, uh, you know. Sometimes you can manifest yeah, those dreams. Those, those, those kind of things can happen. But in serious, I could see that, unless you're a genius, I'd say that's probably true. Like, there's a lot of these conversations. Dude, you know what we should do? What? You know what we should do? Uh, and then whatever it is, you talk about it for about an hour. And you're like, that would be so good if we did that. Let's do that. And how often do those things happen? Unless there's things like drum circles or listening to Dr. Dre's The Chronic on a daily basis, probably not all that often. Well, thank you for your input, Marcus. You did a wonderful service here for the people that are fighting, the f fighting for the cause. Not oh, trivializing this. Legalize it. Legalize it. Okay. I'm gonna go listen to that song. All right. Are you high now? Uh, well, you know, my tolerance is pretty strong. So, how long has passed? About 40 minutes. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs>